What is up, fam? Welcome back to Leslie Jones Tarot. This reading here is for my Scorpio Zodiac signs. We're going to dive in and see what messages come out for you. Um, forgive me for the low volume. My baby girl is over there asleep. It's like it's like 11 o'clock at night still. Um, but I'm, I'm woke. So we're going to see what messages come out. These are the fortune cookie cards, y'all. I love these cards. If y'all are interested, I bought these off of... Uh, Amazon. Amazon. Every time I say that, I think of that. I think of finding uh, Nemo and the little girl. She was in the dentist. Her uncle or whatever was a, a dentist. She was in the dentist chair. She said, he was like, some, some, some. And he went to point out her little teeth. And she said, ah. And then she said, I'm a piranha. Something. I'm a piranha down in the Amazon. Or something like that. Every time I say, oh. Yeah, that's random. I yeah, know I like my card too. All right, spirit. Three cards. What's going on with Scorps? I got to do Libra's reading too. I ain't done Libra in a minute. What's going on with Scorpio? Focus on Scorpio. Little child, difficult times. Be on your guard against chaos as unforeseen perils or emotional upheaval are foretold. Will I be hot diggity daggum dog? What's going on with Scorpio? What's going on with Scorpio? Mm -mm. Scared I can't take all those. I'm sorry. That's too many. <laughs> can't take all those. I can't take all those. What's going on with Scorpio? We have love is in the air. A great time for commitment and taking relationships to the next level. Wow. Okay. What's going on with Scorpio? And this light seems really bright. One more for Scorpio, please, Spirit. Wisdom. Beautiful. To focus on the past is to lose the future. Heat advice from an older person, which will allow you to move on. Y'all got this recently, too. Bottom of the deck is manifestations. A bountiful time awaits you. Your wishes can manifest right before your eyes. There you go, Scorps. Let's do it. Let's see. Clarify the... Difficult times. What is that about? That's not difficult times for Scorpio. What's this upheaval about with this difficult times? Page of Wands. Knight of Cups. You may have a message come in. This could be somebody expressing themselves. It could be a date or a proposal. Hmm. What's at the bottom? I don't, oh, yeah, honey. I was going to say, I don't like this. You got the devil. Yeah, a love bombing energy, maybe. This could be somebody that's ad addicted, toxic. Somebody maybe want to um, talk to you here. Be careful of codependency or codependent people. Oh, child. I did not like that energy. What's this page of wands? Can you clarify that? Clarify the page of wands, please, spirit. The page of wands is normally good news, so it's like something good is coming towards you with this knight of cups, but it's under difficult times. We have happy relationship, always drunk, and burnout. For one, somebody is... You know how somebody is like happy all the time or somebody could have been pretending to be happy all the time. You may hear um, from somebody you may, sorry y'all, you may hear from somebody that somebody is tired of something like they're tired of a relationship they're tired of, I don't know if this relationship is connected to you or another person but this is something about somebody overindulgent. They're burning out here. They're tired of doing something. This can be as simple as like trying to make somebody else happy all the time and it doesn't work. And somebody may be speaking about that. Stable woman, they have their ish together. A lot of y'all are very financially stable. Some of y'all could be getting news about work. 
But with this always drunk and burnt out, you may be super tired. So some of y'all could be getting like a job offer or some sort of good news. Maybe you get to partner up with somebody, work with somebody, right? But you may already have a lot on your plate. You may already have a lot on your plate, so you may end up burning out. Don't overextend yourself, Scorpio. You may, I just heard whirlwind, so you may turn and put yourself in a whirlwind of emotions by doing this. What's the Nine of Cups? Maybe somebody very disrespectful. Oh, child, somebody, mm -mm. smudge, cleanse your space, phone, and stuff. I don't like this. Power hungry. There could be somebody, this could be, I don't like it with that devil. Um, this could be one of those scenarios, right? Somebody asks you to do something or wants to work with you or partner up with you, right? And of course, you know, somebody, you may express yourself creatively in some sort of way or excuse me, I'm sorry. You may exp express yourself creatively or um, Why is this very disrespectful? Be careful. Be careful of like you expressing yourself and saying something and then somebody being disrespectful when it comes to your dreams, your goals. You know how like there's always like a hater. They don't like to see you happy because I feel like good things are happening for you. But then there's that one person that's like, eh, well, it's not that great. I don't know why I'm getting that. That's random. What's the Knight of Cups? I don't know who this is for. I don't know. What's this Knight of Cups? Gamble, taking a risk. This could be somebody to come in and be like, I wouldn't do that. I don't think that's a good idea. Oh, this is going to be crazy. Be careful. Um, personality disorder, struggling to find stuff. Y'all just, y'all may have some people around you that don't really know what they want or don't really know what they got in life going. I don't know. Child, this is. Some of y'all got somebody around you that's like disrespectful to the point where like you try to open up, you try to say something and they just like, they like, I don't know. It's like they just kill you, kill your vibe. Be careful of people trying to kill your vibe, Scorpio. I don't know what, these are people that are just unhappy. They don't even know what they got going on in life and they just unhappy. Some of y'all are cutting ties with these people anyway. Half truths, they're not being fully honest. And cutting ties. Also, be careful of somebody like love bombing you or like trying to like boost you up. It's like, sorry, it's 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 like you'll 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 see the 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 fuckery. You'll see the fuckery. That's what it is. Some of y'all got somebody faking y'all energy. What's the love card? It says love is in the air. A great time for commitment and taking relationships to the next level. What's that about? Knight of Pentacles. Okay, it's been slow moving, but it's it's here. <laughs> Might have taken a long time and <laughs> some years, but it's here. Still be patient, of course, Scorpio. Somebody also sees you as reliable. They feel like they can grow with you, expand with you. Clarify that love card. Clarify that love card for Scorpio. Ooh, child, seven of swords. Eh. Nine of swords. Be careful of people using you, Scorpio. Be careful of like risky behavior or somebody masquerading as like a friend pretending to have love for you and they, they really don't. This nine of swords on the bottom of the deck. Eight of wands, ten of swords. Some of y'all got communication coming in or somebody coming towards you here. But this person, they may have betrayed you. What's the Knight of Pentacles? What's the Knight of Pentacles for Scorpio? PTSD. Some of y'all have been stressed. Or somebody is stressed trying to strategically come towards you here. Some of y'all are in the single woman, single man energy. So it's not the committed type. You may not be wanting a relationship or a connection right now. You could be very non-committal at this time. But I think it's because of lies and deceit. What's the Seven of Swords? So, 
you may be stressing somebody out or some of y'all are stressing about love because it's taking forever to come in. Spirit wants you to know it's on its way. Ooh, child, be, be careful somebody using you for money. Hustler, always hustling, knows how to get what they want. Some of y'all be careful if somebody try to use you for money. Um, yeah, with the revengeful force and justice. Bottom of the deck. Jumping to conclusions. And Diva, yeah. This is somebody that may feel entitled to you in some sort of way. Can I have one more on the Seven of Swords? Others of I keep hearing others of y'all, y'all are a hustler. Because I keep hearing, I'm a hustler, baby. Whoa. I just want you to know. And then you have evil eyes. Someone is wishing bad upon you. Some y'all need to be careful. Y'all got somebody around you that shows fake love to you. They see you as a luck or opportunity. Your luck is about to change. This person could be sending you evil energy, evil eye energy, because they see your luck changing. They they can tell that for some of y'all, this person that caused you stress for years. It's like they they like that you wasn't getting what you wanted. You weren't getting love. You weren't getting a relationship. You weren't getting a connection. This could have been somebody that tried to slow you down with stress by stressing you out. Because they wanted, you know, they, they were lying, cheating, being deceptive. This person, very sneaky energy, right? But this person here. Somebody may be trying to sneak towards you, but I, I just don't like that evil eye because this is telling me somebody, what's the P, why the Knight of Pentacles with the PTSD? Mm -mm. Some of y'all have been, uh, have it's taken a long time to heal due to PTSD and abuse from a narcissist. That's what it is. Some of y'all are dealing with a narcissistic energy. Or somebody with narcissistic traits, this person sees you moving on. Maybe it took you a while to move on because, you know, unfortunately, you can't heal from narcissistic partnerships like that, okay? It, it, it don't work like that. It's, it's a lot of gaslighting, manipulation, you know, all of that stuff that goes on where you feel like you got to get your sanity back, right? Because you're second questioning everything because this person that effed you up so bad. But... This person, if you're dealing with a narcissist, this person, does they've tried to hold you back for so long, they do not want to see you go towards new love. And they will do whatever they can to keep you from getting this luck, getting this opportunity. They will send you the evil eye. They will send you negative energy. So some of y'all may need to do a cleanse, maybe burn a white candle, and then, you know, cleanse the energy and then burn black for protection. What's wisdom? Wisdom says to focus on the past to, is to lose the future. Get advice from an older person, which will allow you to move on. So what's the wisdom card? Eight of Cups. It's about walking away. Abandoning something, releasing it, moving on. What's the wisdom card for Scorpio? Two of Wands and the Six of Wands. You're going to be victorious here too, Scorpio. Walking away from past situations. Six of Cups. Past situations. People. Immaturity. Uh, this could be uh, family. This could be, you know, childishness, playfulness. Sometimes you got to walk away from things in order to grow and expand. Somebody sees this too. You have two choices now. In between this, you got the two of wands. It's about choice. You got moving on, two of wands, and six of wands. You can either stick in this energy, go back to it, you know, stand where you at and keep getting the same empty eight cups, or... You could choose to go into a different direction and get some sort of recognition, you know, support. Some of y'all, maybe y'all need to get support from another person if you're dealing with narcissistic people. Or if you're if you're having trouble healing, you know, maybe you're still going through trauma. Make sure you reach out and get the support that you need. What's the Eight of Cups? Some of y'all, y'all are going to get some sort of information. Yeah, look, hot mess and bipolar some of y'all, whatever y'all are walking away from, you're realizing this is making you unstable. Your emotions could be all over the place. It's like there's always ups and downs. It's people, whoever this is or these people always got you in and out of your emotions, roller coaster type thing, you know. This could be somebody that does uh, have bipolar disorder or this is like, you know, maybe you have it. 
or maybe you don't. Maybe this person just, you know, they had, they were so up and down with your emotions that you thought something was wrong with you, you know. Bottom of the deck, self-judgment. Yeah, you could have been like judging yourself, questioning yourself. Was you, are you sane or not, you know? Oh, child, them roller coaster relationships, they are no joke. They, they, you will have your highs and your lows will be your lows. What's the two of wands? What's the two of wands? There's Scorpio. Pap smear. Two of wands. May I be careful sleeping with people? Two souls merging together. Make sure you're cleansing your energy. Not to make sure you're not getting soul tied. Yeah, sexual connection, strictly sexual. Make sure you're not getting tied to somebody that just wants to use you for recognition or cloud or some sort of achievement. Yeah, tapping in, tapping in the energy. Some of y'all need to. Some of y'all. Oh, I just heard sex magic. Okay. Oh, child. Somebody could be. You know, be careful of who you sleep with right now, Scorpio. Remember soul ties. Okay, remember when you sleep with somebody, you create a soul tie. Okay, you don't want to connect to some negative energy. Liar, six of wands. Somebody could be lying about their success. What's the six of wands? Or Scorpio. Insatiable female, never satisfied, always wanted more. Somebody could be lying about their success or lying about getting attention or... Scream goes to extremes for attention. Yeah, be cautious of somebody that always constantly needs validation, attention, something like that, okay? Maybe somebody gaslighted. Yeah, mm, someone doesn't want to be seen. Be careful of somebody coming in that always constantly needs attention. This person could be a liar. You know, they lie to get attention. That you, that, you know, a cloud-hungry person will lie to get anything to go in their way. They will be dramatic. They will say what they need to. Get what they need to to have what they have that attention, that validation. All right, let's see. Let's close you off with a let's do angel answers. Any other messages for Scorps? I'm about to go to bed. I'm getting sleepy now. We have be assertive, Scorpio. Be assertive. Go after what you're wanting to go after. You also have abundance. I like that. Abundance, happiness, and bliss coming in for you. A year from now, Scorpio, a year from now, you're going to look back and you're going to see how healed you are, how far you've come. Even now, like some of y'all could look back at a year from where you are now and just look how far you've come. Yes, the answer is yes and no. You also have a yes and you have a no. So place those wherever you need to. Communicate clearly. What's the yes about? What does the yes have to do with? Trust. So this could be, can you trust this person? Can you trust the situation? Ask for help from others on the bottom of the deck. It says, yes, you can trust it or that you're going in the right di direction. What's the no? <laughs> the no is a yes. <laughs> Helpful people. So if one person tells you no, go to the next person. They give you a yes. Some of y'all, it's like y'all are. Don't forget rejection is your protection. I don't know why I got that. What's the what's the no with the yes? That's crazy. What's the no with the yes about? Some of y'all are gonna be indecisive. Communicate clearly. Yeah, some of y'all are gonna be indecisive. Like one minute you may say no, and the next minute you'll say yes. So make sure you communicate clearly. Yeah, remain positive. Make sure you communicate clearly what it is that you want or two people. Because you don't want to have any miscommunication here as well, Scorpio. I don't know what the heck this reading was about. I don't know. Honey, but I'm going to leave it there. I hope that it gives somebody clarity that's needed. Some sort of insight that's needed. I'm about to hit the bed. I'm tired now. I appreciate y'all. I love y'all so much. And I'll catch y'all tomorrow. Bye.